The next drill we're going to shoot is a half and half drill. We shoot this drill from the 20 where you have 10 seconds to fire 10 rounds. We then move up to the 10 where you have 5 seconds to fire 10 rounds. Then we move up to the 5 where you have 2.5 seconds to fire 10 rounds. If you notice the target we're using is an IPSC target, you can use an IPSC target, an IDPA target, a bullseye target, whatever you want. The way that we score this particular drill, if it's in that scoring ring, it's a 10. If it's outside the scoring ring, it's a zero. So for example, if we used a bullseye target, the black portion of the target is a 10, the whole black portion. If it's outside of that, it's a zero. And normally the target that we use for this, as far as the, uh, the bullseye targets, we use a 25 yard pistol bull, so the black is just out to the nine ring. If you use a 50 yard pistol bull, that's fine too, but it makes it a little bit easier. The nice thing about the uh, IDPA and the IPSC targets, it's quick to score this, and you can just tape what's out, and you can drive right on if you don't have any other targets. So 20 yards, 10 seconds, 10 yards, 5 seconds, 5 yards, 2.5 seconds. What we're trying to accomplish with this drill is get somebody to be aggressive on the weapon, squeeze the trigger on every round, snappy movements to get the weapon up on target so you're not wasting your time there, and also use your time. you got plenty of time at the 20, good amount of time at the 10. When you get up to the 5, you don't have a lot of time, so you really have to drive the gun quickly. You have to uh, make sure that you're squeezing the, the trigger and you're driving continuously back to the center of the target. So we'll get ready to go here and we'll shoot the uh, half and half drill. Okay, we're shooting the half and half drill. We're gonna shoot from the 20, we've got 10 seconds. So Dan's got 10 seconds, I got a par time of 10 seconds set on the timer. It'll beep the first time, that's a signal to go. It'll beep the second time, that's a signal to stop. What we try to do back here at the 20, we don't wanna push our speed too much because we have gotta keep all these rounds in the A zone for them to count, or all of them in the bowl or whatever particular target you're using. So on this one, we want to try to uh, maximize the use of that 10 second time limit. All right, 10 seconds, shooter ready? 10 rounds, 10 seconds, shooter ready? Shooter's ready. Shooter is ready, stand by. All right, 6.37, a little bit quick, but uh, I think he got most of them in the A zone there. We're here at the 10 yard line. I'm going to reset the par time to five seconds on my timer. So Dan's going to have five seconds from the time the buzzer goes off to fire 10 rounds. We'll get it down there to five. Okay, five seconds. Shoot it ready. Hey, uh, your foot's across the line. Don't be cheating on me there. All right. Shooter's ready. Shooter is ready. Five seconds, 10 rounds. Stand by. All right, 352, that's good. Very well done. He kept driving his sights to the center of the target, and we can see the results downrange on that target. Okay, now we're gonna move up to the five. All right, now we're up at the five. I've reset my uh, timer here for 2.5 seconds for 10 rounds. You have to be extremely aggressive when you fire these 10 rounds. That doesn't mean we jerk the trigger. I want you to pay particular attention to what Dan does with his trigger finger. When he fires these rounds, he's not using his whole hand to fire the rounds. He's using just his trigger finger. The other thing that he's doing, he's quickly snapping the weapon up on target. We, we don't want to waste time slowly going up a target and then shooting extremely fast. We want to snap the weapon up there and then take our time shooting. We want to keep driving the gun to the center of the vitals on this target. All right, 2.5 seconds, 10 rounds. Shooter ready? Shooter's ready. Shooter is ready. Stand by. 2.16. All right, safety on, let it hang. 2.16, that's a very good run. He kept them all in there, driving the gun as hard as he possibly could. And notice once he uh, shot the weapon dry, he felt the weapon shoot dry. He immediately went for a magazine and did a, a uh, slide lock reload there seated the mag and then let the, the uh, bolt go home with his thumb. All right, let's take a look at the target here. Okay, the way that we score this is anything that's inside of the A zone is a 10. Anything outside is a zero. And as you can see, he shot a perfect score here. He's probably practiced this a little bit. Uh, the good thing about this drill is it's easy to score because they're either heroes or zeros. So if they're in there, they're a 10. If they're out, they're a zero. The other thing that we sometimes do, if somebody's shooting this drill and they're having a hard time making the time, they're shooting over what we do for every round that they don't fire in the right amount of time, we also take another 10 away. So 
we try to punish the slow shooters to get them to start pushing that speed. And what you'll realize once you shoot this drill a few times, guys will shoot it and their splits will be faster than my splits. But everything else is slower. They're mounting the gun slower. Their first shot, for example, Dan's first shot was a .64. That's an extremely fast first shot. But everybody can do that if they just practice driving that weapon. After that, his splits were pretty much 17, 17 and 18 splits. That's not fast. That's just driving the gun, and you can see he shot a really good sized group here. And if you were to take this group that big and put it on my body, you can see what would happen. 20, 10, and 5 yards, he's going to really crush somebody down with that type of shooting. All right, that's the half and half drill.